What are the true signs that your marriage is over? What are the signs that your marriage is not worth fighting for? Welcome to Happily Committed. My name is Coach Adrian, and I've dedicated my life helping people find happiness in their relationships. For a long time, I helped people recover after breakup, separation, and divorces. And now I'm focusing more on helping people create the relationship they want and to truly thrive in their relationship in order to avoid a breakup or a separation because I know how devastating it can be for both parties. And Unfortunately, sometimes a marriage is coming to an end and I wanted to discuss the true signs that this is the end so that you know where you stand and you're not fighting in vain for a relationship that is quite frankly not worth fighting for. The first sign that your marriage is over is when your partner is unable to stop putting their needs at your expense. Even after you've communicated and tried to rebuild a healthier marriage and connection and relationship, if their happiness constantly come at your expense and you are feeling worse, you're feeling overwhelmed, and quite frankly, only one person is existing in that relationship, the marriage is coming to an end. Ultimately, a relationship or marriage will be unbalanced if only one person is happy and that happiness comes at the other person's expense. So if you can relate to this, it is probably a clear true sign that your marriage is over. The second sign that a marriage is over is when you can't seem to find a way to get out of the blame mode or the blame game. And it's quite common for people to argue, to fight, to bicker, and to criticize in any relationship because we have a tendency of getting frustrated and it's a lot easier to blame someone else than to take accountability for our actions. But when after years and years, weeks after week, day after day, you are criticizing and blaming the other persons for your happiness and you are re-litigating past fights and living in the past. It is a sign that your marriage is over. The third sign that I've seen that indicated to me as a coach that my client's marriage was over is when one or the other party cannot seem to find any goodness in the other. And it's sad, but I've seen this, I see this quite a lot towards the end of relationships or marriages where people are so consumed by their resentment, their anger, and they start to despise their significant other and they cannot even see one quality trait or attribute. And that unfortunately is very sad because clearly, even though you may not be at a point where you can connect with each other, your partner has good qualities. They must because you fell for in love with them and because all human beings have a tendency to have good qualities. Unless, of course, you're in a toxic relationship or you're married to a sociopath. So if you cannot see any good in the man or the woman that you're with, that is a clear sign that your marriage is over. Another sign that your marriage is over is when your partner seeks to cut you off from your friends and your family, from the things that you love to do. And that extreme controlling behavior is a sign of toxicity. And it's a sign that you need to make sure that you are aware of what's going on and that you're able to establish clear boundaries. Otherwise, you're gonna find yourself in a downward spiral very quickly. Ultimately, 
if you or your partner are unwilling to change, if you or your partner think that the other person is the only issue, it's a sign that your marriage is over. Because a relationship or a marriage is like a garden that needs to be constantly and continuously nurtured and attended to. And when one person gives up, the garden will grow weeds. And unfortunately, it is impossible to be in a relationship where both parties are not actively seeking to make it work. And we don't take divorce lightly. We are happily committed. We want to make sure that no stone is left unturned, that everything is done before pulling the trigger. Because divorce is seldom not the right option for many people. And in one of my previous videos, I talked about the divorce rate, but the rate of second divorces is even higher. It's at 67%. And the rate of a third divorce is even higher at 74%. So I'm not trying to scare you. And in some cases, divorce is the only way. But quite frankly, we are happily committed and we want to make sure that everything is done in order to help you make sound decisions and to maximize your chances of being in a fulfilling, healthy relationship with your spouse. If you've enjoyed this video, please join the Happily Committed movement. Like it, subscribe to our channel, check out our blog and check out our programs and the resources that we offer and really truly engage because we are trying to create a community of happy couples that are bound together and across the world and that are fighting the good fight to try to make this world better and to try to make human relationships more fulfilling. So thank you for tuning in and see you soon for another video. <music>